when you look at kind of films like this now, I mean, do you wish that they were making these type of movies when you were kind of like in your heyday where you could be, you know, you talked about playing a prequel, Young Hamp Him. You wish you could have done that? Well, maybe that part. I liked Romancing the Stone, you know. At that time, um, I was producing it. I mean, that was the that was my extent of special effects, you know, which were real stunts in uh, in, in, in real life. So, I mean, that's that's all we we, we knew. Uh, I mean, saying that uh, once I saw two thousand and one Space Odyssey, and then later seeing Avatar, and these pictures in a Wonder World, I, I love seeing them. I never thought about being in them, you know. Um, I'm kind of a character driven, meat and potatoes guy. Uh, so when they uh, when they offered me this, um, I didn't know they, they also sent me a whole bunch of, of comic books of, right. of, of the, the uh, Ant Man world. So I'd understand a little bit, uh, and I just thought it'd be a wonderful uh, op- option, something I had never done before. I'm closing in on my fiftieth year in the business, and this had been my first green screen movie. Um, so I came to it a little late, <laughs> um, and um, it, it, it's been it's been a blast, absolute blast. Yes, it's sort of nice the idea of being able to be thirty years younger. I'll agree with mm-hmm. that, and and making me an opportunity to go into some of my a library of older films and see if it's not something I might want to do. We've seen Harrison Ford; he's um, brought back you know Star Wars and also Indiana Jones now. Can we have a third? Can we make it? Can we have another sequel to Romance in the Stone? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, whoever says. But like I said, with this with this uh, process, you know, I mean, I enjoy being 30 years younger with, with Michelle Pfeiffer. You know, I, I, I really did. And, and it did get me thinking. So, uh, you know, I, who, who's one to say never say no? Everything's moving so quickly. But I'm still getting used to wearing my, my suit, my Ant-Man suit. I finally got, you know, on the second one to a point that I can wear that and and go to the quantum realm. So I'm still looking for what, what lies ahead for the third one. What else can you really tell us? I mean, obviously Avengers 4 is coming, Ant-Man 3. I mean, how many movies would you be willing to make or you've signed on to make, I suppose? I just... I, you have more information than I'm supposed to <laughs> I, I'm supposed to, to know. I have no idea. I haven't signed on for anything. I don't you know what? what you're talking about. What do you mean? I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking Just about. Just wink if you're in. I'm I can't. <laughs> I have the Marvel blowgun is right over here. It is locked and loaded. I open my mouth. I'm going to get it right in the side, an arrow right here, and I pass over. That's the end of your interview. But, I mean, hopes and ambitions for, like, Hank Ping. I mean, you know, obviously... There's the mid credit scene, which changes things a bit. Um, you know, obviously there could be an endless universe. There's so many movies. How how much would you like to stay in this franchise? I'm enjoying it. I mean, I, I love it, uh, especially this this point in, in in my career. I mean, the idea of one of these every two and a half uh, years is is great. Um, it's a great company to be with. Paul Rudd is not only our is a fabulous leader, a wonderful actor, great sense of of comedy. Uh, Evangeline uh, Lilly you know, has done just a great job. Your sister Hannah, Hannah John Kamen, a uh, lovely British actress, is a big addition. Larry Fishburne and Michelle Pfeiffer, brilliant cast. Lovely Peyton Reed. So for me, the joy of working with people that you already know, you don't have to go through the formality of saying hello to, uh, is is great. I'll let uh, Hank Pym continue to be his sort of erudite, smug, uh, slightly looking down, dry sense of humor self. 